You might know the name Ronnie Sunshine Bass as it was made popular in the 2000 movie Remember the Titans. Still more than 40 years later, the story is just as riveting and now he takes in football from a different perspective. In the South, Friday nights are run by high school football. The stories have been told for decades, and in the early 70s, when the desegregation of T.C. Williams High took place, it didn't come with welcome response. Most of the problem came from the parents. Parents didn't like the whole plan, really. But the thing about football is that it is something for people to rally around, which is exactly what the Titans did, armed with a new quarterback in Ronnie Sunshine Bass. Didn't gel right away, but it didn't take long. I mean, they realized that uh, everyone was there for the same reason. Once the victories piled up, things got better. You know, winning solves a lot of problems, and it solved a lot of problems for the school and the city, really. Head coach Herman Boone called on Bass as his team went 13-0 on the way to a state championship. But like any good player-coach relationship, the bond goes well past the high school years, and Coach Boone still calls on him today. You guys get the phone if you need. Uh, just wondering if you can hear that beeping or not. I don't know. No. No, it's, I think it's Coach Boone, as a matter of fact. Fredericksburg, Virginia. Yet Sunshine's story expands beyond high school successes. Next came a chance to play at the college level. Pretty easy decision. You know, the facilities were great. It was early March and it was 82 degrees, and I just come back from Minnesota the week before where it was 19. Ron Bass trying to get something going on. So Bass spent the next five years spending his Saturdays on the field at williams Bryce Stadium. It's pretty great. I mean, it's pretty exciting. I mean, it's a, uh, as, you might, as you might think, it's, a, it's an experience that everyone should have. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Oh, sunshine, sunshine. 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 The story of T.C. Williams' run brought national attention to a new generation decades later. Ah, come on now. Don't let me hang him, bro. Come on. As Remember the Titans put a spotlight on Bass and his teammates. You know, basically, first we, you know, we heard someone was writing a screenplay and was going to do a movie, and of course, none of us believed it. And then two years went by, and we hadn't heard anything else about it. And then, then all of a sudden, we found out it was going to happen. Ronnie Bass! Just going back in, man. Not a quarterback. Son. While the film captured an important movement in the history of the South, it was nice for Bass to revisit some of those memories. They did a pretty good job of portraying the action and, uh, you know, remembering the games. I had all the teams we played, so that was pretty cool. These days, football is still just as important to Sunshine. Oh, yeah. All right. But he takes in the game from a different perspective, cheering on his son, Ronnie Jr., who is the starting quarterback of North Myrtle Beach High School. It's tough. It's tough. You know, sometimes I'm nervous for him, but, uh, you know, I don't even think he realizes how much we enjoy it. Go! 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 All right, good run. Good, good start. You know, going to the game, getting there early. We, we get there an hour early and watch all the warm-ups and everything. And, you know, we're both nervous because it's, a, you know, it's a contact sport. And he knows about his father's role in prep football history. I think I was about, about eight years old where I could really comprehend what he was a part of. Um, the segregation thing, I was starting to learn more about that and how, how much of an impact that had back in the day in his movie. While the film helped him understand just how much talent dad had in high school. Louis, let him through, all right? What? Just let him through. <laughs> well, there was one part where uh, a guy got through the line and he kind of flipped him over his shoulder. And I was like, uh, I've never seen my dad do something like that before. While Ron was able to relive his high school days through a major movie. Well, they're playing awful deep. He gets to do so again when seeing his son out on the field. The running's very familiar, the, his running style. Uh, because, you know, I was kind of slight as a high school student as well. And he's, you know, still trying to put on some weight just like I was. Throwing wise, I mean, I, I always tell him he's a lot farther along than I was when I was a sophomore or junior in high school because we didn't throw a lot. I mean, we, I never went to a throw in school. We just kind of got by, you know, barely. <laughs> and Sunshine Jr. is proud to take after his dad by taking the field on Friday nights. I feel like it's meant to be uh, wearing the number 12. It's always meant a lot to me, you know, wearing my dad's number when he was in high school. With that ultimate goal of winning a state title, now the focus of his attention. He needs to get one. <laughs> That's what I tell him. Uh, no, I mean, it's, uh, 
I don't know. I guess it's not out of the realm of possibilities. You just got to win a few games. And Ronnie Bass has North Myrtle Beach with a 4-2 and two record right now. And the Chiefs won the region opener last week. They get back out on the field on Tuesday when they visit Georgetown.